A near record number of Americans are expected to travel by air this summer. But doctors are worried because it could be a bumpy ride for some people. The cases of measles continue to climb. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shows us how to stay healthy when flying. Everyone is just really happy that winter has come and gone and is starting to get excited about not only their spring travel, but their summer travel. Travel agents at the AAA are seeing a spike in summer airline reservations, and those travelers are planning to fly even farther. Rome, uh, Dublin, Paris, people going to Alaska. But long flights inside an airline are filled with many people can raise your exposure to germs. You've got people coughing and stuff like that, so it's a contained area for germs. So, yeah, it's usually a concern for sure. And this year, out Outbreaks of measles across the U.S. is another reason to be concerned. You can't prevent everything, but you can do some things to minimize the risks. The best way airline passengers can protect themselves is having the correct vaccines. 90% of people who are close to someone with measles will get measles themselves if they do not have the vaccine. Dr. David Holmes teaches at the UB Jacobs School of Medicine. He said all travelers should boost their immune system a week or more before flying with proper food, sleep, exercise, and lots of water. Alcohol actually dehydrates you, so it's better to drink water and try to stay away from the alcohol. Inside a plane, you need to wipe the tray table. Studies show it has more bacteria than even the flush button in a plane's bathroom. The tray table's got almost 10 times as much bacteria as that flush button. Wash your hands with hands sanitizer and use the wind from the overhead air vents. If there is any aerosolized viruses or bacteria, the air vents will come down and push it away from you before it gets to your, your personal zone. Long flights can raise the risk of deadly blood clots, so walk if you can or at least move your lower legs. And if you drink enough water, you're going to have to go to the bathroom anyway, so get up and walk around. Remember to pack medicine in your carry-on bag and don't forget disinfectant wipes, hand sanitizer less than three ounces, and even possibly a Mask. And because of the way air pressures work at altitude, it is important that you keep drinking fluids while flying so you don't become dehydrated. At the Buffalo Airport, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News. The popular 